only 8. So, for 8 this is sp3 hybridization and for sp3 hybridization the regular shape is regular geometry and shape this is tetrahedral. Then C, after this C is the number of bonding atom, here O, bonding atom is not counted to count the number of total electrons, electron central atom and electron gained by bonding. In this case we have not to see this one, ignore this oxygen for, but for the bonding we count it, how many oxygen or how many total bonding atoms are there. There are only three except then the central atom count all the number, all the atoms, this is three, it means there is one lone pair of electron because there are four bonds, so there is one lone pair of electron, this is the position of one lone pair of electron, so it becomes pyramidal, pyramidal in shape. And if there is oxygen as bonding atom, put the oxygen, if there is no any charge on oxygen atom, then bond, there will be the double bond by the, with the central atom, it will be doubly bonded. This is the shape of XaO3. I hope you can solve for XeO4 also, for example, XeOF4, in the same way the central atom belong to 18 group, the bonding central electron, uh, uh, sorry, the electron, uh, outermost electron will be 8, oxygen ignore it, then 4, 8 plus 4, that is 12, and for 12, sp3d2 hybridization, and if there is sp3d2, the regular geometry is of octahedral, this is octahedral, then count the bonding atom, these all are bonding atom, 4 plus 1, 5, it means there is one lone pair of electron, put this lone pair of electron here, this become square pyramidal, here will be central atom, rest will be F, F, all the F at the corners and here will be O. Just I told you, if there is no negative charge, there will be double bond with central atom and oxygen. This is the shape of XeOF4. Uh, now, the other examples for the charged species, here is NO2 minus, NH4 positive, SO4 2 minus. The same way, just what we have followed here, find the central atom first, central atom N, central atom N, central atom sulfur. They see the position in periodic table. N belongs to 15 group, 15 means 5. Then it, if the oxygen is a bonding atom, ignore it. But if there is charge, it means negative charge, we have add two electron, number of negative charge is one, so add one electron. If there is two negative charge, add two electrons. So one electron, so 5 plus 1 become 6. 6 means sp2. If it is sp2, first draw the regular geometry, shape, it is planar, but See the bonding atom, it should be 3, 1, 2, 3, half of this 6, here is only 2, it means there is one lone pair. Put the position of lone pair, here is the lone pair, then oxygen here, oxygen here, here the central atom. Just I told you, if there is negative charge, put the negative charge to the oxygen atom, one negative charge, one oxygen, this there is no charge, so it will be doubly bonded. Now it is bent. Similarly, in case of sulphate ion, sulphur belongs to 16 group, 6 electrons plus oxygen is bonding atom, so ignore it. There is 2 negative charge, add 2, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 means sp3, sp3 means regular geometry tetrahedral, this one. Then C, the bonding atom, there are 4 bonding atoms, it means it is a regular shape, that is tetrahedral, no lone pair tetrahedral, so it will be sulphur, oxygen, 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 put any charge minus 2 any at any 2 oxygen atom, suppose this is 2 minus, it will be doubly bonded. Now here is the case of positive ion, nitrogen belong to 15 group 5, 4 bonded atom 4 plus 5 plus 4, then if there is positive charge minus, subtract. If there is negative charge, add. If there is positive charge, subtract. 5 plus 4, 9, minus 1 positive, minus 1. That is 8. 8 means sp3. sp3 means this type of structure, tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. And there should be 4 bonded atom, already 4. So, no lone pair of electron, nitrogen, H, 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 H. Put here the positive side here. This is the tetrahedral. 
So in this way, I think now you'll be able to just, if you have the basic idea, the SPR theory, and position of the central atom in the periodic table, I assure you, you can get the answer within 10 seconds. Okay, now the structure of the oxo acids of phosphorus and oxo acids of sulfur. Not only the structure is asked, but the acidic strengths are also asked. What will the acidic strength, which is most acidic in this case and this case? We can explain on the basis of the oxidation number, oxidation state of the phosphorus in this uh, oxo acids of phosphorus and oxidation state of sulfur, and also on the basis of structure. First, I'm going to draw the structure. The same can be applied here also. The basic that concept I explained earlier. Here, central atom phosphorus, bonded atom, this one, oxygen we have to ignore. So phosphorus belong to 15 means 5, 5 plus 3, 8. In all these cases, here also 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3. In this case, we divide it into two parts, one phosphorus, and that will be two hydrogen for each and one oxygen atom that will be shared. So total it will be eight all same. So all in all these cases there will be tetrahedral structure. So first we draw the tetrahedral structure like this for these three cases. Put here phosphorus. There are three hydrogen, two oxygen. Put all one oxygen here in all these cases. Then for this one, one oxygen, three hydrogen. So three hydrogen, one will be with this bond, one here and one with O. Similarly, in this case, one oxygen here. So there are remaining two oxygen, one here, one here. And three hydrogens, one hydrogen with this, one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. In this case, four oxygen, one here, one here, one here and one here. And three hydrogen, one here, one here and one here. So in this case, there are two phosphorus, one tetrahedral of this phosphorus and another tetrahedral of this phosphorus. One oxygen, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this will be common, four, five, six and seven total seven oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is one tetrahedral, another tetrahedral. Then four hydrogen, two with this phosphorus and two with this phosphorus. So put anywhere, H and H, H and H. This is the structure of oxo acids of phosphorus. So what will be the acidic strength and in these three, this can be compared easily. The question is asked, why S3 pure is monoprotic acid? We can explain on the basis of the structure. This is a replaceable hydrogen. This bond, P and H bond is stronger than, because the white is acid, easy loss of proton. The proton will easily be lost from here because oxygen is more electronic than hydrogen. It will take the bonding electron towards itself and leave hydrogen as H plus. But here, it is directly bonded with hydrogen. Just we see how many OH is there. Here is one OH means one replaceable hydrogen. One replaceable hydrogen, here one and two, two replaceable hydrogen, here one, two and three, three replaceable. So greater the number of replaceable hydrogen, greater will be the acidic strength. So this is the more acidic than this one and this one is more acidic than this one. On the basis of structure and on the basis of oxidation state, we can find the oxidation state here. Two, two is a four minus four plus three, that is plus one. Two, three is a six minus six plus three plus 3, 2 to the 4, 2 4 is 8, 8 minus 3, 5. So here plus 5, plus 3 and plus 1. Greater the oxidation state, greater will be the acidic strength. So S3PO4 is more acidic than S3PO3, than S3PO2. What about this one? Here two replaceable hydrogen, here two replaceable hydrogen, but on the basis of this one, oxidation state, here plus 4, 2x minus 14 is equal to 0, that is 2x is equal to 10, x is equal to 5, plus 5. So oxidation state is plus 5. So the SDK strength of S3PO4 and S4P2 both are same. 
so it is equal so some explanation can be done on the basis of the structure someone can be on the basis of oxidation state if you know the structure we can also explain the acidic strength now the acidic strength of oxo acids of sulfur in the same way sulfur belong to the 16 group 6 plus 2 8 we don't count for oxygen sulfur 6 16 means 6 plus 2 8 here again we can divide it into two part then again we will find here eight all these have octahedral structure sorry tetrahedral structure first we draw the tetrahedral structure this one this one here two sulfur so one tetrahedral for one sulfur and another tetrahedral for another sulfur and here one So later on, we'll see here central atom. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. In case of S two S three, there are three oxygen. Put here oxygen one, two, and three. Then two hydrogen, H and H, and one will be lone pair of electron. In S two S O four, again four oxygen. So one, two, three, and four. It will be doubly bonded. Two hydrogen, one here, one here. it may be double bond or it may be double bond here may be oh both are same in case of h2 s2 o7 s and s seven oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 six one will be common this one so there are two hydrogen one with this sulfur and another will with this sulfur this one h and h it will be double bonded double bonded here again it will be double bonded double bonded here in h2 s2 o8 one oxygen sulfur sulfur 2 3 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 two more 7 and 8 this is a peroxide form only two hydrogen one is here one with this and all these will be double bonded this is the structure of oxo acids of sulfur and the acidic strength we find the oxidation state here oxidation state 2 3 6 6 2 4 plus 4 2 4 8 8 2 plus 6 then here plus 2 2x Minus fourteen is equal to zero. That is x is equal to plus five. Plus six. Plus six. Fourteen minus two. Four twelve. Twelve divided by two. Plus six. Here two two x minus sixteen is equal to zero. So sixteen minus two eight. Sixteen minus sorry sixteen minus two. That is fourteen. Fourteen divided by two plus seven. The oxidation state is plus four, plus six, plus six, plus seven. The acidic strength, this is more acidic than this one. These two are equal in strength, and this is more acidic than this one. The this is the most acidic. These two are equal, and this is this is the acidic strength of this one. I hope, children, you will be able to answer these type of questions asked from P block element, and uh, there is. two marks questions are always asked draw the structure and shape of the molecules given and generally this is asked from the textbook but you will be able to answer all any type of the question asked so try to practice such type of question thank you